so we get we get uh, intel that there is a MI8 that crashed in the mountains of Afghanistan and it was fl- being flown by some Russian dudes. And this was like weird. Like this is one of those missions where it just doesn't really make sense right away. And you're like, what are these guys doing here? Why are they flying an MI8? And why, uh, why are we going to get them? And like they, they said that it went down. They didn't know where. Uh, they think it went down and some weird State Department thing where they wanted us to go and get these guys. So um, this was up at like now. Now it's cold and it's up at like, you know, 12,000 feet. And so we're in these uh, Pavehawk helicopters and uh, and we're like, all right, well, we'll go search for them and we'll bring some stuff just in case we find them. You know, we can get them out. So uh, we suspect that there was these two. um it was these two valleys and we suspect that if they, they were supposed to go left and that would have, I think they were just transiting or something. They were supposed to go left. And if they would have gone left, it would have been fine. But if, but they went right. And if you went right, uh, then you were going to run straight into the side of a mountain and it was inclement weather. So they suspected that they had gone and maybe crashed inside this hill. So, uh, their suspicions were correct. And, uh, we flew and the only way that we can get that high was we had to strip all of the armor, off of one of the helicopters and drop the guns well, that's and, handy. uh yeah so it's and then and then we uh decided that you know hey we're in we're indisposable so we'll sit in the back of this unarmored uh helicopter with no guns on it and uh fly up there you know so the pj team six of us uh <laughs> flew up there in the back of this damn helicopter and uh there there it is man we see that we see this thing you know we we see this uh wreckage and so we're like okay well what do you want us to do like well we want you to go get them okay uh, you know, well, do you yeah. know why they no were- just still uh, and this this was like way put in a desk drawer like we they wouldn't write any of our guys up for any sort even air medals or anything this was like quiet man and i i have no idea even to this day i suspect that they were contractors you know flying uh, transport equipment or something and it was somewhat benign based on what we saw in the wreckage it wasn't like military equipment or anything uh these were just normal joe blow russian dudes and so um but the wild thing is, so we decide that we're going to, uh, it's crazy terrain side of a mountain. And so we're like, okay, well, we're going to have to go down there and get them. But uh, the only way we're going to hold a hover is, you know, we, 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 the light helicopter is going to come in. The heavy helicopter is going to do gun patterns above. And no other aircraft, no other air assets were there supporting us because I think this was one of those missions where they didn't want to advertise what we were doing, which was weird. And so, uh, so we committed to putting six dudes on the side of this mountain in Afghanistan, uh, you know, with one helicopter overhead with guns, which was a great idea. And so uh, I'm the jackass that decides I'm going to hoist down first and I'm going to tie off to the side of the mountain and then everybody else will hoist to me and I'll set up a rope system and I'll grab them because this is like steep stuff. So we grab them and uh, everybody comes in and, and it goes without a hitch, right? So uh, then... We're like, okay, well, we need to split up our team and we need to, uh, we see part of the wreckage up there and we see part of the wreckage down at the bottom of the hill. It's maybe 200 yards down, maybe 100 yards up. So uh, me and another guy decide we're going to go hiking up this mountain, climbing, free climbing up to, actually there's two of us. We're going to, three of us, we're going to free climb up. The other three are going down. So those guys are down there looking for, we're looking for three people. And uh, mind you, there's like snow on the ground and uh, there's like literally footprints already there. And there's piss on the ground, like warm mm. piss. So, <laughs> like, well, um, pretty sure we're not alone. And uh, so we, we got to be somewhat, somewhat, you know, tactical, as tactical as you can be like a herd of cattle, you know, on the side of a mountain with a freaking helicopter overhead and all this jingly stuff that we're carrying. We had to carry all the rope system, extrication, extrication equipment, all that stuff, and medical stuff in case, you know, somehow there was somebody alive, but. So we crawl up and uh, me, me and a guy free climb all the way up. Three of us, we free climb all the way up the side of this mountain. And uh, and I and I actually, I remember this one because I got written up. I got paperwork because I ditched my helmet and I ditched some of the other stuff because it was just, we were getting overheated. So I ditched all this stuff. And like, you know, my team leader, I wasn't the team leader. Team leader it told me not to. And I'm like, what the hell is this going to do for me, man? Like, I have a higher chance of falling off the side of the mountain over heat exhaustion than I do this stupid ass. This is back when we had, like, the Spaceballs helmets, you know. It wasn't like a Gucci one. 
And so I took that off and, uh, I got written up for it later, but took that off, climbed up and, uh, and then sure enough, man, there's this dead Russian. Uh, he had, he was the pilot and he had hit the side of this mountain, like Wiley coyote and his arms were wrapped around this boulder and he was just wrapped around, like literally arms wrapped around and, you know, just there. And he was, uh, burnt, but then also frozen. And so burnt, but frozen wrapped around this rock. Craziest thing you've ever seen. Like how did, how, how, you can't plan this in a million years. Right. Yeah. Uh, so that somehow this dude last second, I'm just, open his arms and just grabbed on this mountain and you know that that's where he lay and so he, uh, he was outside the helicopter yeah how, yeah, yeah. how far away from you from the uh helicopter? maybe 20 meters from some wreckage a uh, fried to the side wow. and then 200 yards down the cliff so i think i suspect this thing hit the side of the mountain and then rolled down and yeah. like just disintegrate right but this dude somehow he must have been right up front and you know on the stick and then just opened his arms and grabbed onto this rock and uh i mean like fully intact it was the craziest thing you've ever seen but he was burnt and frozen uh to the rock like and so now burnt, burnt like yeah. charred black uh but uh also frozen and yeah. craziest thing you've ever seen right so then you're like how do we get this guy down like, how are we gonna get him off this damn rock so uh my buddy Chris had this bright idea that he'd wrap a rope around him and start yanking on him. My other buddy Mark had this idea that he would like pull him and I would also get on the other side and pull him. So we would all pull while this guy's yanking this rope down. And uh, I drew the short straw where I'm up right by this dude's stomach and we're trying to pry him and yank him. And uh, all of a sudden what gives is uh, part of his stomach. So his stomach was fried to the rock, but then it just opened up and his guts bubbled out in my face i got hit with hot dead guy russian gut face and it was the most disgusting smell you can imagine and i just start heaving and i don't i'm like hur, hur, and i just start you know i'm about to lose it and mind you we're holding on to the side of the rock like barely clinging on we're trying to be somewhat tactical my buddy mark little mark he loses all military bearing and he just yells let it out <laughs> i just start throwing up and laughing at the same time i mean it's so gruesome and so gross and funny but we pry this dude off and then uh you know get him and uh drag him down the mountain and then uh we get him in a skedco litter and uh and and there's two other guys at the bottom and these guys both died in weird ways too man one guy died rigor mortis like an egyptian his arms stuck out like an egyptian and he was missing his head and the other guy um i forget what it was but he was also like just really weird uh really weird and so we decide that hey the first guy we're going to load up in the litter is going to be the egyptian guy for whatever reason he was you know he was the most intact or ready and we load him up and we're right at the bottom of this valley and the and the helicopter is you know all the guts it has to even hold a hover at this altitude and mind you uh we've been on the ground now for several hours i mean we have the helicopter beat feet out of there so we're on alone we're, we're alone and afraid i wouldn't say unafraid alone <laughs> <laughs> and on the side of this mountain at this point now i relocated to some higher ground and i had uh an ebr enhanced battle rifle and i was kind of overwatch for what a six-man team could have right so i'm overwatch so i'm overwatching this stuff and i see them loading up this litter call the helicopter back in it comes and it drops a hoist hook down they hook this guy up in the skedco and uh, this is the egyptian guy and uh you know, arms like an egyptian and um and we tried to get his arms back in but they, they tried they couldn't so uh they start hoisting him up be, but because they're in a valley uh, typically the way we hoist people is we do like a offset with a barrel men where we hold the rope offset and that will keep the tail down of the of the litter so it doesn't spin but they were right on top of us we had nowhere to go and the helicopter had nowhere to go so we had to stay there and this litter just caught wind and started going in circles and the guy is holding right under it and it's just like a cork above him just spinning 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 and then knots started traveling down this the line all of a sudden it, it it just popped out of his hands and now this dude caught air and he's starting to move around like this and typically what happens is the hoist operator at this point will lower him back down but this hoist operator didn't do that he started raising him back up and the guy caught more wind caught more wind caught more wind and it got all the way up next to the helicopter 200 feet above these dudes and then caught around the wire cutters 
Oh, and man. freaking now we got dead Russian guy coming smoking through the air. My guy's bailing out of the, you know, diving off to the side. And the dude just came down, wham, just like a big meat sandwich. It was disgusting and terrible. And I probably wouldn't be talking this way if they were Americans, but man, it was freaking gross. And so, um, so then now we're like, well, there goes our good hoist. Like the other helicopter can't do shit, you know? So we had to come up with some scheme for them to go fly and to go download all of their armor, download all of their guns onto the helicopter with a good hoist. And that took a couple more hours. It was such a goat rope. They came back over and we put them in hard litters and we, you know, fixed ourselves and uh, we were able to get them out of there, man. No shots fired on us. Like some, you know, I mean, whoever was there was probably just checking out the wreckage. I mean, they weren't bad guys apparently, but it was a pretty wild story. We got out of there and uh, they tried to like, or OIC tried to write us up for some medals, you know, afterwards. And they're like, no, this never happened. <laughs> you know, like we ne hey. We'll never talk about this again, you know.